What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John from the Game of Doing here. Welcome you back to another episode of the Pokemon Ultra Moon Randomized Nuzlocke. I am very surprised, to say the least, of what you guys chose. So, this was the closest Choose My Starter I have ever had between all three Pokemon. Not gonna lie. I, I wanted to record earlier, but we were tied. So, it's kind of wild, to say the least, that we were tied. I'm going to go ahead and turn down this, because for some reason, for some reason, that was way the heck turned up, and it should not have been. So, hopefully, that wasn't that case in episode one. But anyway, if you guys don't know, we had to choose my starter. And what a choose my starter is, is where you guys choose what you guys want for me so let me go ahead and get you into the results last place was tied at five and i can tell you right now pidgeot was one of them so it was between the mon with the quad weakness or the alola mon and you guys decided with a six five to or six to five to five vote that would be going through Alola with our Alolan Pokemon. So Trumbeak is going to be on the squad. And honestly, I'm not mad. I don't know. Hopefully that your goal wasn't to Sorry, I'm moving it down. I'm moving it down a little bit. Hopefully the goal wasn't to make John mad by choosing like Trumpy, but I'm not mad at all. Like honestly, it was it's a, it's like unfortunate that we got Trumpy, but it's a good Gen 7 mon. It gives us a lot of options for a lot of the other mons. It's gonna say I chose Populo, but I did not, as we know. It's gonna be a Trumpy. But I'm not mad. Trumpy is a very, very cool Pokemon. As Papa said, it literally looks back at you judging every single move. That you made. And honestly, that was a hilarious enough comment to get it named after Papa. <laughs> like, honestly. It, it literally does, though. It's like Toucan Sam. That was the other thing I was going to name it. But I want to name this after you guys in the comments. So make sure, leave comments down below because you will get a named Pokemon named after you pretty much guaranteed i literally am gonna keep a document of all the people that have commented and name it after you guys because you guys make this what it is and so i hope you guys enjoy um if you guys don't know it is friday the 17th as you know we're out here okay but as of recording i guess it's for you guys it's friday the 17th for me it's the 14th same day uh, but it's at night instead of in the day. Which means that we'll get some interesting day encounters, actually. So, encounters actually... So, you guys don't know. Encounters actually flip-flop depending on what time it is. So, if it's any time after 6, you'll have the day string of encounters. This will be interesting. Now, thinking about it, this is going to be a little more interesting than I thought. We don't have Pokeballs yet, right? I'm not being dumb. Oh, shoot. Trumbeak has an item. If this Trumbeak has a Master Ball, I'm going to be a little upset. Because that means that we're getting our encounter before I wanted to get it. No. No. Ah, ah. We can't use that. We can't, we can't use that. That's broken. What did I even click on? Pokemon refresh. Okay, that's got to go away real soon. A pure incense. I don't know what that does, but that's $4,800. <laughs> that's all. <laughs> like, that's all I remember is how much it is and how much it gives me money-wise. So, good. Our encounters have not started yet. So, that means that the Nuzlocke has not begun yet, which is perfectly fine with me. Wow, Canary is not liking this.
What? Oh my god, we have like no good moves either. We got Tailwind, Roost, Scratch, and Play Rough. Wow. Wowzers. And Play Rough is resisted. Really? Great. Brick Break. Oh my god, naturally. Naturally. The fact that we are being hazed damage-wise, and there's the charm. Dang it. That's that's going to encapsulate it, guys. Like, there's nothing we can do now. Because we're going to get outpaced with Brick Break. Unless, miraculously, we do just enough damage that we can kill. Aha! Okay. That was, that was what I call interesting AI, but... Ooh. Not a fan. But hopefully we get some better moves, because Scratch is definitely uh, a no-no. We don't really want to have to deal with Scratch the entire time. And to be honest, having to deal with Scratch is going to be a pain in the butt. If it is something that we're going to have to do. So. I hope not. Luckily, this fight against Hao doesn't matter again. Because we don't have Pokeballs. So, we don't have to worry about the fight against Hao. Thank you. Um, I will switch. I'm going to switch to Nightly. Um, after this episode. See the difference. Because it does seem a little laggy. Um, which I don't like. The fact that it does. It's never been laggy for me like this. And so, my guess would be um because i usually use nightly and not canary uh for citra which i should probably stay consistent with that now that i'm thinking about it oh my god those pixels were so bad Yeah, we're going to have to use Nightly. Holy crap, those pixels are terrible. Like, I was using, like, 1142, and this is version 1644. So, the fact that it's that much of a difference is a little wild. Hopefully, Hal doesn't have something terrible bad, because I kind of want to beat it, and I probably should have trained up for it. But luckily, again, Nuzlocke has not started yet. What do you got, How Don't have something too bad. Ivysaur. Let's go. We'll take that. Actually, wait. We can't... We still don't have a, a flying type move. So, this might still be a little more difficult. But, you're only level 5. Why is Hal only level 5? Exactly. He's supposed to be level 6 because we initiated a 15% level boost. Well, we're going to have to watch that. See if the level boost actually comes into effect. If not, we're going to have to... Wow. Uh, let's not kill me, please. If not, I'm not. I'm going to have to re-randomize uh, the trainers. I don't want to. But I also... Had a 15% level boost for a reason. Because this game would be too easy without it. Papa wants to learn Dizzy Punch. That's better than... That's 7100. It's better than 4100. So... We will teach that over Scratch. Dizzy Punch also has a chance of confusion. So we will take that as well. As we're going to defeat the Litten. Because it's definitely his Litten that we just defeated right now. We definitely did not just defeat a Ivysaur. Which is a spoopy by the way, which I didn't see in the comment section, which is really wild. I was kind of expecting to see a Spoopy in the comment section, but we did not see one. So that is a-okay. I don't expect everybody to be in the comment section. Honestly, that's not an expectation. Um, But yeah, night we will switch to Nightly, because oof. Ah. 
I'm so tired today. It's insane how tired I am. Like, I'm probably going to fall asleep. I'm, like, hot, sweaty, tired, and all of the above. Which is really insane because, like, I really shouldn't be. It's only 7.30. But, like, I'm on that East Coast time, y'all. Like, 10.30. It feels like it's 10.30, 11. But it definitely is not. Oh, my gosh. Dude, why does it feel like it's so... Gosh, diggity darn slow. That's not just me that's seeing the what feels like lag, right? Like, there's absolutely... I might have to... I, I'm going to make the executive decision... I mean, I guess it's not necessarily an executive decision because it's literally my channel, but, like, I am definitely going to get different. I'm definitely going to use Nightly. That's number one. Number two. Oh, Nebby, you annoying son of a gun. You've only got Splash. Oh, wait, that's not true. It's a randomizer. Use Super Sonic Side Strike. That's not a move, I don't think. <laughs> Use a non-existent move. Okay, then. Good job, John. Um, now, I, it's weird. Because, like, I see what everybody's talking about now. Like, I must have gotten, like, the most stable versions of Citra. And now that I have a the new Citra, that's, that's bad. I don't even remember what versions I had. I want to say it was 11.42. Uh, for nightly. So, I'll definitely see if I can find Citra version 1142. Because, holy cow. But yeah, again, I'm on Canary. So, that might also be an issue. Oh, that Spiro is going to be randomized to... A Duot. Okay. I'm not, I'm not opposed to that. I am definitely not opposed to that. It's not an encounter, but, like, again, it's not terrible. And Play Rough is not a bad move either. That's 90 base power, but it's not stab. Wait, so 70 base power stab. Actually, I'm doing the math right now. 70 base power stab is 105. So, actually, Dizzy Punch is a more powerful move. Good to note. The only thing that it doesn't make it more powerful is is the fact that it's got uh, not a... No, there's no way for it to be super effective on anything. So, like, in a case of a... Something that's weak to fairy, like dragon types and stuff, it's going to be ultimately just that much better to use other mods. Jeez. Ah, I need some cream. Uh, CeraVe cream and stuff, because my elbows are dry. My skin is just so dry. Boom! Just gone. All of them. All of Sparrow's like, get out my way, boy. I would say another word, but I can't say it, so. Because, you know, gotta stay PG around these parts. No. Honestly, though, there's some series on the channel that's gonna be PG 13, not gonna lie. Um, especially upcoming. Because, ooh, this is gonna be some. There's gonna be some fun stuff happening. Um. And I really guess I really hope you guys are excited for everything that's been or that is going to be coming out here shortly. Um, and I when I say shortly, I mean like a couple like a month or two from now because it's still in the works. I've still got a lot of things that are in the works, but it's gonna be fun. Um, but yeah, you can tell how tired I am today. Dude, I'm gonna fall asleep after this um, recording. 
because holy cow, it is just, oh, it's bad. I think a lot of it has to do with allergies too. Like my allergies are going to start kicking up now out of everything because like it's that time of year for me, J uh, April through July or uh, March through July is the worst um, for, cause I have uh, allergies to hay and grasses and stuff like that. And it's just grasses itself. It's not even the pollen, but like when the grass, or I guess kind of is the pollen, but like whenever grasses are starting, it's like, oof. And they're starting early this year and it's not, uh, cause usually it's July through August or not July through August, June through August. That is my worst part, but whole Lee Toledo Batman. That is not the case this year. This is probably some of the worst that my allergies have been in years. Like since before I worked on the farm and stuff. Like, holy cow! Like, yeah, it's a, it's a it's a yikes. It is a yikes for sure. But we're powering through it. We're doing exactly what we need to be doing right now. So win, I guess. Um. Mm. Okay. Um. It's Kahuna Hala, guys. It's the best Kahuna in the world. Um. Not really. Um. I don't know who I would if I were to rank the Kahunas. I honestly. I honestly think that my statement was correct. <laughs> I said not really, like, jokingly. Like, like I was making a joke. And then I realized that I wasn't actually making a joke. Because Hollow's probably the best. It's just the island that he's on is just... Whew! It is not good. Um, I feel bad, because, like... If Hollow was on, like, the second or third island... He might actually be better. Like, Olivia's a great one, but Nanu is just, eh. Nanu just comes out of nowhere, like, way out of left field for me. And then, when it comes to, what's his face? Um, Hapu. Hapu's just, Hapu's just Hapu, like, a lot of people have mixed feelings about her, and that's who I, that's how I am with Hapu as well. It's not that Hapu is bad. I'm not saying that at all. Hapu is not terrible. It's just she's not great either. Um, if I were to think of, like, my favorite trial captain, like, my favorite trial is probably Lana's trial. Um... And it's not because I like water types and they're my favorite type. It's just that it's so it's simplistic, but it's difficult at the same time. Like it gives you a sense of like you don't have to worry. And it's nice not having to worry about specific things like that. Um jeez, we're gonna get to episode two and we're not even gonna we're gonna get our first encounters. That's insane. It's going to take us two episodes to get there because we're already 20 minutes in. And so, yeah, we're going to get our first two encounters in, in episode two. Does it, Was it like, I feel like it was like this in my first playthrough of it, too. Like, that we got our first encounters and that was it. Wild. I didn't realize how much introductory text there is. Wow, okay. Yeah, no, I didn't realize how much introductory was in Gen 7. Not that I'm opposed to the amount of introductory. I just... So much unnecessary talking. And, like, they just healed me for no reason at all. And then it'll... Oh, well, now it's the next day. So we fall asleep. So it's daytime. What a... Stunning sunset. All right, today's the day I finally unpack. That was the doorbell. Guess who it is? Or, oh, go see who it is. Dang it. I thought it was something else. 
So do they re they really do say something else depending on whether it's day or night? That's weird. That's cool, but it's like I gotta when I'm doing my text edits, I'm not gonna know where the the tech edits are. Like there's a there's a, there's a text edit here, and it's a really funny text edit, but I don't know if the text edit is for the day or for the night or what. And I know she just said it was sunset, but it ain't sunset, honey. It's literally the morning time for you guys. Um, considering the fact that, I don't know, it's almost like, oh wait, isn't this always supposed to be sunset? Never mind, I'm being dumb. This is always supposed to be sunset, which means that there's a text at it here. Is it sunset and sun too? I feel like it's sunset and sun too. I don't know. I just know there's funny text edits there for uh, a different thing that I'm doing. Um, that like one person knows about, because or maybe two. But yeah, he's gonna show us how to catch a gubbin because it's not randomized. So, 100% catch rate. There is a static encounter and a non-static encounter here. So I get two Pokemon on this route. Hopefully they're good. That's all I'm saying. Hopefully they are good. Because if they're not good, then I am screwed. If they're not good, then I am screwed. If they're not good, then I am screwed. If they're not good, I am screwed. If I'm not good, then I'm screwed. If they're not good, I am screwed. Hopefully they are some good mons. Because the Nuzlocke will start. And we have two trainers that could have Megas. And that would be bad with a Trumbeak. So hopefully we don't get screwed. Yeah. But yeah, no, I don't know how I could see what the, where the, um, like the trainers being boosted. Cause like, I can't tell with how, but how was supposed to be level six, but I don't want to double do it because I've done that before and it's bad. Um, so I guess the best way to tell is to find somebody who's like level 10 in the game and then be like okay well you're level 10 so therefore you're supposed to be level 11 or 12 um depending on how this game rounds but even then level five uh wait what if this game doesn't round and that's why how is level five because 20 percent would have increased in a level this game might not round, actually. Good to think about. Because if this game doesn't round, then yeah. So our static encounter is... This is annoying the crap out of me with this the stopping and pausing. A Slugma. Well, how helpful is that? Not helpful at all. Not helpful at all. Not helpful at all. Not helpful at all. Uh, this is that's literally such a bad mon. Oh my! I better get a better mon under this route one because because Slugma is just not gonna cut it. Slugma and Trumbeak is not going to cut it. Um. And we're going to get an encounter on the route as well. But we are going to name this after, I think we have somebody that was named. They voted for Weavile. That's what I remember. Um, I still have, like I said, I need to set up a document because that would be cool. Um, but I know they voted for Weavile. And I know that I haven't seen them in the channel before. So this is the first time. Savage. Savage the Slugma. I would name it Nexus, but like Nexus doesn't watch my channel, and you guys are more important than Nexus is. Um. Okay, so the encounter, the actual route encounter, though, because that was the static. It 
It's Green Bird. Okay. So we've got two flying types. Not bad, I guess. Ooh, and uh, we're holding an item on that Slugma. I really hope that Green Bird has a good ability. Because I guess we have to check the abilities too because that's randomized. I probably should be doing my due diligence there. Um, but yeah, since there's no other encounters until after this. We got Green Bird. And I'm... So this one I won't name after anybody in the comments because, well, it's Green Bird. And if I name it after anybody in the comments, somebody would get mad at me. Um, but we're naming it Green Bird. It's going to be on our side of the field. We're going to check for abilities because, unfortunately, Green Bird won't have Magic Bounce. Even though I wish it did. Because honestly, that would be amazing if it did. Um, but we are going to go ahead and take the item off of Slugma. It's got a purple nectar, which does absolutely nothing. Woo! And Green Bird didn't have an item. So, let's check the summaries of all our Pokemon before we end the episode. We've got Aroma Veil, which does what exactly? It protects allies. It... Protect itself and its allies from attacks that limit their move choices. Okay, so I can't get taunted. That's fine. We got an inner focus Pokemon. It's supposed to have four. The randomizer is so frickety fracked. Um, with Ember, Leafage, and Willow Wisp. Because you're supposed to have four moves, so I don't know why you don't. And lastly, we got the Steel Worker. Green Bird with Psy Wave, Psy Beam, Hex, and Psycho Cut. Wow. Okay. Well, on that note, I'm going to train up my team, get them to level 7 apiece, and we'll see you guys in the next episode. I'm going to make sure that we go to Nightly instead, because this is actually high-key bugging me that it keeps, like, failing in transitions. But peace out, guys.